welcome to the webinar on heart disease and lung cancer in COVID-19 era. My talk this morning is to talk on the topic COVID and the heart. COVID-19 infection is caused by SARS coronavirus 2, which is a member of the genus beta coronavirus. The other two members of this group, which you may be familiar, that causes pandemic was SARS coronavirus, which causes SARS pandemic in 2003 and MERS, which occurred a few years ago. SARS coronavirus 2 primarily causes a respiratory infection, which leads to viral pneumonia and acute respiratory distress syndrome, ARDS, in short, in some patients. How does COVID-19 infection affect other organs besides the lungs? In uncontrolled COVID-19 infection, it triggers a cytokine stone syndrome, whereby pro-inflammatory cytokines and chemokines are overproduced by the immune system, resulting in multi-organ damage. Cytokines are a large group of proteins secreted by specific cells of the immune system, acting as signaling molecules to mediate and regulate immunity, inflammation, and blood cell generation. Chemokines are specific type of cytokines that functions by attracting cells to the sites of infection or inflammation. COVID-19 can also cause clotting abnormalities in substantial proportion of patients, which can lead to thromboembolism events, whereby blood clots was lodged in various organs, causing damages. Are patients with cardiovascular disease more likely to get COVID-19 infection and or more serious COVID-19 complications? Clinical data indicate that patients with cardiovascular disease probably does not make them any more likely to catch coronavirus than anyone else. But more importantly, the outcomes of COVID-19 infection are strongly associated with cardiovascular disease. As you can see from this table, summarize some of the studies showing the incidence of cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, and obesity in overall patients with COVID-19 infection. And those with serious infection, the percentage is in a bracket either in ICU admission or death. In most of the Chinese studies, the incidence of cardiovascular disease, hypertension, diabetes were not as high and probably just reflect the age of the patient with COVID-19 infection, which are more likely to have this condition. The number in the bracket are the incidence of this condition in seriously ill patients, either in ICU or death, which are much higher than the overall COVID-19 infected patients, suggesting that this condition increases the complication rate of COVID-19 patients. The data in US also suggests that obesity increases the risk of complication in COVID-19 infected patients. What cardiovascular disease are caused by COVID-19? The following diagram illustrates the progression of COVID-19 infection. Phase one is the early infection phase where there is only mild constitutional symptoms of cough or fever. Most of the infection will end at phase one and patients recovered. In phase two, the virus infiltrates the lungs and causes lung damage. The damage in the lung causes lack of oxygen in the blood we call hypoxia and thus causes stress to the heart. And in patients with prior heart disease, this may lead to serious complications. In phase three, this is when there is exacerbated uh, immune response in some patients leading to serious life-threatening condition, which I will elaborate in the next slides. COVID-19 virus can cause direct damage to the heart, like what it does in the lungs, and also causes indirect damage by immune system, lung infection causing hypoxia, the cytokine storm, and cardiac metabolic mismatch, whereby the heart is unable to supply the demand of the body during the infection. This direct and indirect mechanism causes heart muscle damage, um, abnormal function of the lining of the artery, instability or rupture of the blockage in the artery, or clotting abnormality. This leads to serious heart complication. The slide summarizes the association of COVID-19 infection and the heart and many underlying mechanisms. There are treatments for this COVID complication, but not COVID itself. Heart failure are treated with medication to remove waters in the lungs, medication to improve contraction of the heart muscles, and in some cases, artificial heart and lung machine, we call VA at more to help the patient. Heart attack is treated as per usual with medication or stenting, depending on the severity. Abnormal heart rhythms are usually treated with medications to stabilize the rhythm. As for clotting abnormalities, blood thinning medication are given in some patients, even prophylactically, before any signs of clotting abnormalities appears. Of course, the lung infection is treated with oxygen as well as antiviral medication and antibiotics for superimposed bacterial infection and mechanical ventil ventilation if needed um, 
in ICU. And in extreme serious cases, artificial lungs, we call it VV ECMO. What do you need to do if you have COVID, uh, cardiovascular diseases during this pandemic? There is no proven effective treatment or cure for COVID-19 infection, just supportive treatment. That is why there are so many fatality in COVID-19 infection. So prevention is the best strategy. So mask up, wash hands, and stay apart. If you have cardiovascular disease, please be compliant with all medication to control risk factors, hypertension, and diabetes, and treatment for cardiovascular disease. In high-risk patients, you are advised to take flu vaccination to reduce serious complications from influenza, also reduce background noise for COVID, and reduce risk of hospital admission. Because if you have flu symptoms, doctors can't tell if it is just normal flu or COVID-19 infection. Thank you. Thank you.